got the private sleeper on the uh, the 20 hour train to Shanghai. We went to the wrong car first and this really nice little guy was like, hey, I'll change with you. <laughs> Oh, that's so sweet. And they were really nice as buffing them out of the way with their backpack. And the Chinese trains have boiling hot drinking water and kettles in the room. We're officially in China. There's a McDonald's. I asked Chris for our birthday what I wanted for my birthday. I'm thinking I'm going to have to have McDonald's just so I can say I tried it in China. <laughs> Get what she wants. We have a huge window to view the beautiful Chinese countryside. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Katie, and her sister Carrie too, happy birthday to you. Mm, why thank you and eating my breakfast porridge on the train headed to Shanghai. It tastes like uh, plain rice porridge. <laughs> Not much flavor, but it's really good in the morning. Happy birthday Thank you. We're in Shanghai. Well, that train ride was amazing. Oh. Yes, definitely do the deluxe first class if you can. It's cheaper than a flight. Yeah. Book well in advance. Customs and immigration folks were so nice here and helpful. It was really awesome. Right now we're going to try and grab our tickets for our trip next week while we're at the train station so we don't have to come back. It's an adventure. Pretty cool. Do not come unprepared. Take our first taxi ride. Thanks to some nice people in the line at the taxi stand, they wrote out for us our directions. Uh, we had directions to our hotel, but even with those, it's it's challenging. But we'll see if we get there. It's a fun adventure, though. Wow, look at that thing. Awesome little fitness trail right near our hotel. The sound was on for that. It's amazing how quiet the streets are. So many of the vehicles, almost all the scooters and bikes are all electric. Sitting here in the loud rattling mufflers that we've been hearing, it's totally silent. You gotta be careful when you step out into the road. This is the Bun Sightseeing Avenue. We're already a tourist attraction. People are already coming up to get their pictures taken with us. <laughs> We made it to Nanjing Pedestrian Street. I'm probably saying that very wrong, but it's like Nanjing, Nanjing Pedestrian Street. Hopefully we'll find some food now. That sounds promising. Look at all of that. I have cauliflower. We found all this stuff. You just pick what you like. It's like two dollars a person, which is awesome because food is expensive. It seems delicious. There's a line and it has bread. I don't know what's in it. I'm gonna try it. Oh, it's making friends everywhere we go. The line I got from Mooncakes, which. A lady told me what they were called, and these are um, pork. Oh, those are warm. Those are really good. Looks delicious. I'm jealous. Yeah, that's a lot of pork. Good. They are miniature beef wellingtons. They are wonderful. But they are rich, and I have—I now have to eat six of them. 
Wish me luck. This is Century Square. It's uh, kind of like the Times Square of Shanghai. It's really beautiful. People, but there's so much space that everybody fits. We are just having a blast in Shanghai. We found two types of Sprite in China, the blue one and the white one, although we saw this one has fiber. So I'm bravely gonna let Kate test them first. First one with fiber. Oh god, it's got that aspartame aftertaste. That's pretty bad. Ugh. 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 Yeah, they're disgusting. Ugh. Experiment. Fail. Ugh. Good night. If you like our video, leave the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good.